Hi, this is Devious Vacuum, and this is GamesForGirls.com. With me are Beam Splash and Helmet Condenser. Hi, I'm Helmet Condenser. Hey everyone, I'm Beam Splash. Today we're going to look at this beautiful pink website, which has a variety of games for girls. Like cowgirl uh, look. Specifically for girls yeah. and no one else. Cowgirl look sounds like a good one. Fall Intern, Fall. Super Fall Stylish intern. Sneakers. Bunny that Ears That sneaker's one. clearly a girl. Cute um, blondie makeover. Yep. Hipster kitty. Street Christmas party. <laughs> not featured in this video. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, which one did we choose? First up. Vagrant Christmas. First up is one of my favorite games, which is Fruit Prom. Oh my goodness. We're going to Fruit Prom. Fruits are a natural yeah. wonder. Do you get to dance with fruits? Um, I don't know. We don't get to actually see the prom itself. We just prepare to send our little lady off to Fruit Prom. Uh, because that's so the we best got. Also, you can't click those coconuts. Let's see. Oh, okay. We got a whole lot of makeup here. Okay. You get to apply the makeup in a different intensity. Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't actually appear to make any difference, <laughs> but okay. So we can just. Wow, we can choose many eyelashes. Many different eyelashes. Oh, well, really? they're clipping through her hair there on the right side, but I guess that's normal if you're going to Fruit Prom. Well, I mean, a fruit prom, I'm sure, has different different rules than regular prom. That's true. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is other than fruit prom is obviously more delicious. <laughs> I like the dripping noises for every kind of makeup application. Because we know all makeup is important. liquid, including your eye color. <laughs> oh man, you can go yes, vampire it's... mode? Yes. Oh yes. We're gonna, there we we're go. gonna choose the, the, the palest skin color and the darkest uh, blush. Because fruit prom is a little different. It's okay to show up to fruit prom with a little bit of a, of a suntan, sunburn. Uh, and of course, light blue eyeshadow, the marker of every little girl trying on her mother's makeup. <laughs> so, so, um, so this is a game, right? This is a yeah, game. Right, well, the challenge. Oh man, look at all these different eyebrows happy. you can draw. She chose the sassy eyebrows. <laughs> I'd say you succeeded. All right. Now it's time to wear a dress. Oh, uh, you what can't go in your robe. No, unfortunately. Oh, and each dress is, of course, based on a fruit. Whoa! Oh, wow! Like the banana. Yes, that banana dress. Uh, that one is much more extravagant than the others. Banana dress is the best dress. There are other dresses. They're somewhat related to the fruits in the picture, but I feel How like this game rest? might have been created entirely for the banana dress. <laughs> yeah, none of those. Like, is that a coconut dress? I guess that last one. Yeah. It what? doesn't really say coconut to me. <laughs> it looks like a that banana dress, though. You look at it, you're like, that's a banana. <laughs> Why are the hairstyles not fruits? Why are they so easy to do after you spent all that time putting on your makeup? <laughs> well, it looks like you're know, just replacing the upper. Like half of your head there, so maybe she doesn't have real hair. Obviously not. Um, the, I mean, there's a wig stand right there, so. And where's the? Uh, I guess that's the implication. Where's the hairstyle to just have your head be split at the top like a banana? The most delicious hairstyle. And I don't really know what's going no, on. With the, those accessories. The, her feet. Um. Oh yes. Did you notice that she had creepy feet <laughs> until now? There they are. Her claws. Look at those she's toes. got an extra one on her right. But, mm. Perfect. No, no heels. <laughs> Everyone's just welcome just at Fruit Prom. And you won. She's the first one there. You won prom. Yeah, obviously. No one else we, owned we this it. many dresses or makeup types, so no one else went. <laughs> so next, we're gonna look at we're gonna we're gonna double up on our dress up games. And we're going to take a look at the very intellectual Whoa. game, Ivy League Rubies, that... which is about two yes. roommates starting their first semester at an Ivy League college. And of course, the most important thing is to make sure that they look very fashionable. Man, that, that, that first lady was very smug. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's smug lady and then there's like adorable naive one. <laughs> That's, so uh, I wow. did. I did two kind of themes. Uh, the first girl, I try to make her actually look presentable, 
<laughs> and then the second girl, I just make her look batshit crazy. That's that's Those probably par for the course with an Ivy League college, right? There's only two types of people there. Right. And, of course, these are the sort of things that you wear to uh, your first day of classes at Ivy League college. Um, None of these. Some sort of formal shirt yeah. with the cuffs cut off. These aren't... Well, it's like ripping the entire sleeve mm -hmm. off a shirt, you know, but for girls. Perfect. Man. Now it's ruined. Why did they give you so many legging options, but only like four skirts? Well, they know that after you put on one of those skirts, you're gonna be like, I need to cover up a little bit more. <laughs> you can also make your girl religious. Give her a little yep, cross earrings. Very appropriate. Um, Religion's a fun accessory. <laughs> Girls. And, uh... <laughs> she can either have, um, glasses or a book, but not both. No, that's not allowed, actually. Um, you'll get so kicked out like of, like, Harvard and stuff for that kind of thing. Right. So this is the sassy roommates. Oh boy. By the way, this video is rated 18+, plus, uh, if it's allowed. Right, uh, sorry, yeah, because we're going to see a lot of ladies in their underwear, um, including this particular one, uh, and if you look, wait. there's there's like a, a cleavage line, but it doesn't wait, wait, extend wait. like all the way down. <laughs> Whoa. Did you notice that the icons for the clothes have her hand hovering in them on the right <laughs> side there? Just so you know. What? Yeah, look, Whoa. there, her hand's just I hovering know. there. Her I severed they fingers. Like weird, horrible claws in the cutout pictures. <laughs> And they look perfectly normal here. Those are some goofy pants. So this is this is what you would wear to an Ivy League school, right? Of course. This is yeah. the what most the important hell thing. This would be your look. Is that? Your Ivy League groomy look. This definitely isn't something that would be, you know, like an outcast high schooler look. They're all smiley so faces. this is, you know, this is sending a, a positive message because it's encouraging girls to go get into an Ivy League school before they drop out and get married. Well, I didn't go yeah. to an Ivy League, and I couldn't dress like I wanted to, and neither could any of the girls. How did you want to dress? Like the girl on the right. Oh, really? <laughs> you, that... you got in trouble for that? I don't understand Well, I just why. wasn't allowed to. Like, they, I came, I unpacked my clothes, and they saw the stuff that was sassy, and they just threw it in garbage. They took your neon green sunglasses and stepped on them. Yeah, they were prescription. I couldn't see. But I had a book. Is that anyway, why you failed out of Ivy League I College? I gave up my glasses. I got a book. <laughs> ah, well, that was good. You couldn't have both. Holy now, that was shit. the best game. Um, Helmut Cancer's favorite game, Pizza Contest. Pizzas. Look at these perfect so pizzas. This, we got to make this, the ideal pizza. Is eating the pizza so part of the So basically, you're playing against the computer. You gotta make the pizza the way that it shows on the picture. You're competing against the computer, and um, this is, I don't know how this is a girl game, but it, I mean, it's not about girl things, it's just, you know, colored pink and I believe kinda shitty. that if you look into it a little deeper, you will find that in fact all girls love pizza. Therefore, this is a girl well, game. Anyone, I mean, everyone loves pizza, regardless of gender. Are you sure? Oh. Oh, because wow. that's not what Wikipedia that... tells me. Progress is being made. I didn't even notice. Yeah, well, I just have to match the picture. <laughs> so I'm, I gotta say, I'm pretty good at pizza contests. You can see <laughs> a pizza master, even. Um. Also, of course, this is how I like to put cheese on my pizzas. Just put mm -hmm. a little bit in the middle. Just a few cubes is all you really need. Yeah, the cubes. Are, are... It spreads out. Yeah, the slices of cheese kind of all look like they have faces on them. Like something kind of disturbing. Throw some shrimp on there. Yeah, why not? Also, I like how this game has an incredibly tight music loop. It's only like 15 seconds long. You'll hear it loop. And many, of course, many it times. just screams pizza party. Wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Is that grape jelly? I actually hadn't seen that before. I think so. <laughs> grape jelly and a big old tentacle on the top. It is a party, after all. <laughs> And, you know, of all the, the fruit that's available, um, and the thing, not, not, a lot of these things don't go on pizzas. Like, that has grapes on it. Um, I, hmm. It's gourmet. Maybe these girls are, are, yeah, exactly. They're trying to start a gourmet restaurant. And they want to branch out maybe. from the- Maybe, they're entrepreneurs. Yeah, from the traditional pizzas they, that they've experienced their whole lives, they're going to branch out from that. Perhaps. 
I mean, maybe those aren't maybe those aren't grapes. Maybe those are like grape flavored gumdrops. This one has strawberries <laughs> and some sort of weird um, arthropod in the middle. We'll be seeing oh. the Kickstarter for this any day now. You're just gourmet then. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, I like. Let's see. I, I always like to have olives on my pizza. So I that, like pizza that's the most with important. cheese, How do you feel about vegetable, and seafood. That's good. Oh, also that time I hit main menu, but uh, nothing happened. It just continued on with the yep. game. Oh yeah, level one it looks like. Oh, that's right. That's it reset you to level contest. one. Hmm. Which is like the main menu. But this time I put mustard on the pizza. Oh, it's <laughs> random each time. Watch out, Diablo. It's very calming. Wow, okay, yeah, that was gross looking. What the hell was that? I, I don't know what's on this pizza. I'm, it's, pizza contest Are those is very jello confusing. cubes? What was yeah. that? So we're just gonna move on to the next game because pizza contest doesn't advance. It keeps being random and you can't ever win. You just keep pizza contesting until the end of time. Oh my. So we're gonna move on to a different game that's also about cooking Little Delicious Maker. I clicked on this game and was excited to play another game about cooking. So, um... How delicious. But first we have to dress up our, our chef. So if you don't give her proper footwear, she's just not allowed to cook at all. This very soothing music. Whoa. I, I, she, I think she can cook in any kind of footwear, but this is very, yeah. like, good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to play Little Delicious Maker. How are you gentlemen feeling this evening? And it's, it's very we loud. we dress up this clearly underage girl. Oh, girl. All the music is so just make intense it a little and delicious. loud. That's sort of a, a, a hallmark of, of internet girl games, uh, is that the, the music is really loud. I, but I think the same is true of all free shitty Flash games, regardless of what sort of dangerous messages they that send. That is correct. Is that a Spongebob shirt? But like a knockoff? Um, it's just some pixels. It could be. Dish Towel Jones. Oh, so is that... You can wear a transparent plastic apron. Yeah. <laughs> and a very tall hat. So you, can, so you can see your outfit. Also, there's there's some pretty great chef hats. That one looks like a giant muffin. That would be very appropriate, depending on what you're cooking. So we're, we're going to dress up our, our little chef, and then I was excited to be, uh, you know, dress up our chef, and then actually get to the, the cooking part of the game. Um, but then it turned out that that was the entire game. It wasn't actually about cooking. Very little delicious indeed. None. Well, we can see her kitchen is sparkling and spotless, so maybe she never cooks at all. I don't think or so. Or is she in I think space? she just gets dressed and then orders out. Space kitchen of the future. So is this game for, um, for men? Wow. Whoa. So another wow. sort of, um, as you can see, I'm not sure if I want to play it or not. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> there's, there's sort of this, this odd undercurrent in um, a lot of these websites, all of them, really, uh, which is there are very few dress-up games that really well represent women of color in any way, um, and the ones that are, are like this. You got that right. Um, which, if you'll notice, only allows one vaguely actually black hairstyle, and in that hairstyle, there are no natural hair colors available. So yeah. For girls. Um, games for girls online, also not only really sexist, but also really racist. Um, perhaps unsurprisingly. For some girls, and games should also be in quotes, honestly. Yeah, is this is this a game? Where what would you call this if it's not a game? Interactive fiction. No, wait, it's not that either. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, this game is not it's not as entertaining Can as I the other the ones. Dress? It's just this is really oh, relaxing dear. music too, though. It's almost like it's not racist. Yeah, it is relaxing. <laughs> it's trying to convince you it's not. Well, where did she come from? Everyone else slides in from the side. She just pops right out of the ground. So enough of the seedy underbelly <laughs> of uh, of secret girl game racism. 
Uh, we're gonna move on to a really good game that is totally for little girls. Absolutely. And not for grown men at all. No, that would be ridiculous. I don't know. Hey. I don't know why you would think that. Oh, this one has blinking physics implemented. <laughs> physics, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so you're, you're, the, the point of this game is is to dress up your your teacher. Um. These are things teachers wear. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say, especially that one there. Yep, that one there with the strange ballet outfit. I don't know. Oh, but... More space. Uh, it's called a peplum, excuse me. Oh, uh, you see, if the game actually <laughs> noted that, then girls could learn something from this. <laughs> so I found the space shirt, and I was like, okay, we're making we're making a cool teacher. <laughs> the Daisy Dukes. All things teachers wear. And, and deep Vs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, platform sandals. Yeah, platform sandals are probably one of the prerequisites of being a teacher. I'd imagine. We have to make sure you're, you're taller than all your students in order to have the requisite authority. What? So what subject <laughs> do you suppose she would be teaching? Uh, well, science, obviously. Just, just pure science? Every science? Driver's ed. Maybe also interior design? <laughs> Dots. She's a very fashionable teacher. Look at all the sparkles on those earrings. And this is much better. You know, we have um, a woman with glasses and a science t-shirt. She's got she's got the rainbow earrings. So she's much more progressive than the the previous dress up mm. dolls. She can just hold a globe in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go for the one that made the most sense, which was the remote there control. There she is. So here's our, our beautiful teacher With... in this game that's totally not aimed at uh, grown men at all. <laughs> that background looks like it was straight out of some Japanese dating sim. Seriously, does, look at that. I can't think of which one. We need to figure out who, where that's from. That's definitely from something. Okay, Games now the best girls. game. There's a lot of crossover between the different websites. <laughs> what? But this... Is flirting in Created the streets. by sea sharks. Um, sea sharks. Hey, honey, you know that no one can resist your fascinating look. Well, gorgeous, now's the perfect time to prove your beauty. Even a little eye contact is enough to make all the boys in the street fall a in love eye with eye you. Shown here. Are you Superman? Like, like a little eye contact. A floating harem of men. Is that what is happening? Yeah, oh my so god! And the other lady game. just faded away. So you destroyed her entire yes. existence. Whoa. So you, you that, that, that first time I died to show off the game over screen, but now I'm going to do a pro run of She's Flirting pretty, in the Street. Uh, blase where you, about this. Where you shoot eye lasers at boys, and then you kill them, and you take their heart, and then their ghosts follow around behind you. They also to try to steal your man. And if you come... If you, yeah, if another girl tries to steal your man, then you have to click really hard on the guy to over overpower her, and then she fades away from existence and you successfully steal, steal his soul. Also, take a look at the stores in the background and the titles of them. Royals? And store names. Yep. There's one in particular that, that you will know. <laughs> oh, and this is an intense eye laser battle. Bamboo. Golden. Yes. What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Uh, uh, this isn't even GirlGames.com, right? This is this is a different one. This is this is girl, GirlGames.com and Games Two Girls. Oh, also we got a picture taken of us because we're so fabulous, so we get extra. Games bonus Two Girls. <laughs> oh no! Extra uh, racist there. Oh no! I don't think you can win this, but oh, you did it! I... Oh yeah, I'm really good at at clicking on. Clicking on boys. You're infinitely more powerful than those other ladies. I am. I'm the master of so street flirting. So, Dvac, is this what flirting is like for most women? Um, I would say yes. <laughs> I mean, it is for me. Um, although I, I mean, I, I. But, so how many? I sent away the the number of of men's souls that I have follow around me and you know do yeah. my every whim. And command on a daily basis. But how many other ladies have you made fade from existence entirely? Um, you know, I don't, I don't really want to talk parade. about that. It's, it's a beautiful <laughs> parade of dead men. 
And we get points for all of them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we flirt. 10,171 points times zero. This, this game was legitimately fun. Uh, um, yeah? But you can't accessorize your lady to become even more powerful. Yeah, unfortunately That's a shame. not. It has a lot of potential, though. Yeah, maybe they'll create an expanded HD edition. So this was my favorite game. What did you guys learn? Uh, well, I learned the many hazards of being outside, which, again, reinforces the fact that I should never be anywhere. Just just hiding in an attic somewhere is probably the safest bet. Beams, what did you learn about flirting? Uh, I'll get back to you later. I need to go to the store and grab some black men. <laughs>